Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I wanted to do a story time about the time where my cousins and I had, uh, we were doing a Ouija board. We had made up a Ouija board. So, this is how it began. So, we were upstairs in our attic. We have like a room above our garage. And we drew out this Ouija board. And it was me and my three cousins. I was a little bit younger at the time, so I don't really remember what exactly happened. But we were, um, after we made the Ouija board, we said, are there any spirits that would like to be contacted? And so we we put our hands our, on the Ouija board and it began to move around. And the thing with Ouija boards is that you have to be able to call a good spirit in order for it to work. So we called a good spirit and we talked to it for a couple of hours and after those couple of hours, um, we told it goodbye. And I, I've had like good experiences with the Ouija board. And um, so that's why we had good luck with it, I guess. Um, let me let my cat in, hold on. So, I guess Chloe wants to be in a video. You want to be in a video? Yeah. So, after we told the spirit goodbye, my aunt actually came upstairs and told... She got sort of mad, but not really, that we were doing it. Because I know that if you open, like, a wrong gate into, like, the underworld, I guess you could call it then you could have really bad like issues with the Ouija board. And she wanted us to quit doing the Ouija board right then and there. So we did as she told and once she left, um, we, after she was like gone, we um, did the Ouija board again and we kept talking to all these different kinds of spirits and they were good spirits they weren't like anything bad so we did that for a couple hours and they were some really nice spirits i mean they weren't like mean or anything or any type of bad spirits so we did that for a couple hours and then we got bored, so we told the spirit goodbye, and you're always supposed to tell a spirit goodbye after you're done using the Ouija board, unless you leave a door open, and that's not good. So we told the spirit goodbye, and um, that's pretty much it. And that night, I was in bed, and I could have sworn that I felt something touch me during the middle of the night and I look up and there was this girl at the end of my bed and I'm like hello and I told her who she was and she never told me who she was so I was kind of confused at that just because of how um I'm just gonna adjust you guys there we go I told her like how, how are you? Are you here to... I have another cat. Hold on, guys. Um, there you go. Hi, Coop. Hi, Cooper. You want to be in? So this is Cooper. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? So I asked her like how she was doing and she told me she was doing good and that she was 
um, having a good time up in heaven. Uh, and when I was younger, um, I was at my grandma's funeral and I was in another room while my parents were, <sighs> what are you doing, Chloe? What are you doing? Um, I was in another room while they were in the room next to me, um, where my grandma's casket was. And they were to, to this day, they're like, were you talking to someone in that other room when, um, that's when I told them, yeah, I was talking to another person. So usually when you're young, people can like talk to dead people. And I used to be able to talk to dead people. Um, what are you doing, Chloe? What are you doing? Um, I used to be able to talk to dead people, um, and it was pretty scary at the time because I didn't know that I could talk to dead people. I'm not like a medium or anything. Um, I can't talk to dead people now, so I don't know what caused me to talk to a dead person, but it was pretty interesting because I felt like I was one with that ghost that I was talking to. I don't know if it was like the atmosphere that I was in or the room, but it felt, I guess it felt right at that moment. I don't know how to explain it, but it felt like I was understanding what he or she was saying. So I don't know if, I don't know. It was just, it was really weird. No, no, Clo Clo. You don't want to touch that. So that's my paranormal activity experience. Let me know if you guys have ever experienced any paranormal activity. Like if you've seen any, any ghosts or anything like that. Um, I don't know if you have, Clo. Have you experienced any ghosts, huh? No? No? You haven't? <laughs> yeah, so let me know if you guys have experienced any paranormal activity or if you've done the Ouija board ever. Um, I don't know if I'd ever do the Ouija board again just because of how um, many things can go wrong with the Ouija board. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and until next time, Chloe and I will talk to you guys later. Um, please like and subscribe if you guys want more videos of me and Chloe. Yeah. And I will talk to you lovelies in my next video. Bye.